This is day 45 in my six mark challenge for the AQA GCSE science exams. In the run up to the exams, each day from Monday to Saturday, I'm posting a new video with a six mark question so that you can have a go at these and see how you're getting on in your revision. There's a link in the description below to all of this week's videos and also the playlist containing all of the videos so far. In the GCSE physics exams, extended response questions also include these longer calculations where you need to use at least two different equations and put them together in order to solve the problem. Now, it's a little bit difficult doing one of these in 2022 because unlike normal, candidates are being given that first equation sheet, which normally they would have to memorise. And the exam board aren't going to give you credit for identifying an equation from that sheet that you haven't had to recall because it's just written down for you. So in order to make this a six mark question, I've done a couple of things. I've added in asking you to give the units, which is a thing that you need to be able to do, but you wouldn't normally have in a six mark question like this. And there's also one other slight little snag in there, which you should be able to spot. So if you haven't done so already, pause the video and give yourself six minutes to work out which two equations you need and to have a go at solving this problem. The key to solving this question is the idea of the conservation of energy. So energy cannot be created, it cannot be destroyed, it can only be transferred between different stores. And here I have a potential energy store and a kinetic energy store. So in other words, the maximum amount of kinetic energy that that rucksack can have while it's falling is the same as the amount of potential energy that it had due to being lifted in a gravitational field. Now we know that there isn't going to be 100% efficient transfer, some of that energy is going to be dissipated into the surroundings, but we're asked in this question about the maximum velocity, so therefore we're going to think about the maximum amount of kinetic energy that could be, and that will be the same. So I'm going to need these equations, so my equation for potential energy is mass multiplied by gravitational field strength multiplied by height, and then for kinetic energy, it's half mass multiplied by velocity squared. So in 2022, you're not going to receive credit for recalling those equations because you haven't had to recall them. But in a normal year, you would do. So if you're watching this video in 2023, then you would get some credit at this point. Now, the next little snag that I've added into this question to take account for the fact that I can't give you marks for recalling things you haven't had to recall is that our mass has been given in grams. But as we know, all of these calculations, we need our mass to be in kilograms, which is the standard international unit. So I'm going to need eight rather than 8,000. And then they've given me the gravitational field strength, so that's 9.8, and the height is 11.025, and that's in the question. If I multiply all of those together, I get 864.36 joules. So the maximum amount of kinetic energy I could have is going to be the same as that. So you need to make sure that somewhere in your answer, you've either explicitly written out about the conservation of energy, or you've done like this and said, potential energy is this, and then kinetic energy is the same number. Then you're going to need to take that kinetic energy equation and rearrange it to make V the subject. So here you're going to double the kinetic energy, divide that by mass and then square root the whole lot. You're not just square rooting the um, numerator of that fraction. So I would always suggest you substitute in the numbers and you actually write it out with the numbers in there, because that way, if anything goes wrong with your calculator, you may still be able to get some credit for that um, intermediate working. And that gives me an answer of 14.7 meters per second. So in terms of where the marks are coming from, as we've said, we can't give you credit for recalling equations at this point. So while that might get us marks in 2023, it won't this year. But you can get some credit for a little conversion there. You can get some credit for working out the amount of potential energy. Something about conservation of energy, or you could have the same marking point for the line where I said kinetic energy is 864.36. A mark for the rearranging, a mark for the answer, and a mark for the units. So ordinarily in a question like this, I wouldn't expect them to ask you for the units as well, but I needed to make it up to six marks. So we're putting that in there because you're likely to be asked for the units in other parts of the exams anyway. So it's all good practice. Thursday's question is about stem cells and evaluating the different sources of those for different medical applications. Remember, there's a link in the description below to all of this week's questions and also the playlist containing all of the videos in the series so far. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you'll be back again tomorrow for the next part of the six mark challenge. If you have found this video useful then don't forget to like and subscribe for more GCC science revision resources coming soon.